On Easter 2007, we had over 800 in attendance at our three worship services held in two locations. You might remember we used the community center as a video venue. So with three sanctuary services overflowing into the gym and with growth continuing to occur, we knew we had to do something different for Easter 2008. We didn't think adding another service was a practical solution. Even with a video venue in the gym, parking is a limiting factor. So we began to think about other spaces on the north side that would be able to handle 800 or more. The only place we found was the 4-H Center Auditorium. Bluegrass has many personal connections with the 4-H. In fact, Bluegrass hosted the first Scott 4-H Fair many years ago. And since we're unaware of any other Northside church doing a community Easter service, we thought it would be a great opportunity to live out our vision and extend an invitation to the community to come join us for Easter. Well, we know it's going to be different for all of us. And for some of us, it's going to be much more work. But I'm confident that we will see and support the vision. Even sacrifice a little and pray a lot and be the church in mission. So the plan is to have two identical worship services at 8.30 and 10.30. That means we'll have a greater opportunity to worship with more folks from Bluegrass. Since we're going from three services to two and two locations to one. By the way, did I mention we're going to need help? We're going to need several servants to be nursery attendants and parking lot attendants, greeters, shuttle drivers, and choir members. So we're asking the congregation to step up in a big way. We're going to need over 50 volunteers per service. And what we're asking is that you would serve at one of the services and then enjoy worshiping at the other. When you arrive at the 4-H Center, there will be signs and bluegrass hospitality team members who will direct you. If you have children ages 4 and under and want to take them to child care, you'll be directed to the conference center. Attendants and signs will easily mark your way there, as well as to the auditorium. And we would encourage you to arrive 20 minutes before the service begins so that you can drop off your kids, park, and get seated. Every parent will be given a pager, so if you are needed during the service, you'll be paged and shuttled down to child care a very short drive away. And even if you don't utilize child care, please arrive early and enjoy some coffee, juice, and donuts. There are several parking places close to the building here. We would ask that any of you who could park farther away and save the best spots for our guests and those with mobility issues. You know, this 4-H building has been used for all kinds of events. But on Easter Sunday, the building is being set apart for a sacred use. One of the great reminders about this whole adventure is that the church is more than a building. The church is wherever God's people gather together in His name. On Easter, the 4-H Auditorium is going to be a sanctuary of celebration. But we need you to make it happen. We need your prayers. We need your presence. We need your service. We need you to invite family and friends and neighbors and co-workers. Let's make this an Easter to remember.